So often this is just about having a base to work from, knowing how simple it is if your produce is right. Now, I've shown you so many times before, cooking the onions, give them time. So um, I've cooked them in butter and olive oil uh, because when, and I want them, see they're golden. They're golden and they've sweated right down. And the garlic went in to, uh, ooh, uh, about five minutes after the onion started. Otherwise the garlic will go bitter. I had the bottom of a packet of good rice, which happened to be um, about 340 grams. And there were two small onions. And I just wait until I'm sure that the onion, uh, well, really the rice has been coated with that butter. See how shiny it is? So you know all of the little poles of rice are coated. Turn up the temperature, if you can have it down. And then just about quarter of a cup of verjuice or wine. And that's the sound. That's the sound you're after. It's such a, an easy thing to do as the rice absorbs the uh, stock, it's ready for the next one. So immediately, in this case, this is a very small risotto I'm making, but this is also where I put the salt in. If you put the salt in later, you need a lot more salt. So I'm just letting that go very low temperature. I tend to make sure if any red wine is left over and then I reduce it by half so it's really intense and I keep it just for this. I happen to have the last of my tomato sugo here and I can't bear to waste it. It's not enough for a pasta. It started out to be absolutely red wine but I was cleaning out the fridge and found this from last week and it's still, still looking good because this reduced red wine, I'm going to use what was about 600 mils down to 300 mils. So there's a fair bit of liquid to go into this. So I've got to make that juggle between the amount of stock, which I've just used a 500 gram stock and the red wine and not get it too soupy. This is a base. Um, I could serve it with lots of parmesan through it. I could use some uh, mozzarella. I could use some quark. I could just serve it with yogurt and lots of fresh herbs. So often this is just about having a base to work from, knowing how simple it is if your produce is right. Now, the red wine is not hot. I've said the stock has to be warm, but the red wine isn't. Let me just talk you through this. After the onions and the garlic, and then in the butter and, and a little bit of oil, enough so um, those pearls of rice were totally covered uh, before I whooshed the verjuice in and then it was a case of just putting the salt in early and then you can see um, it's about 20 minutes of cook and it's always got to be finished off with some lusciousness. Now that lusciousness can be extra virgin olive oil or it could be butter. Now some people like their Risotto is really soupy. I like mine really unctuous and, and together. See how it truly glistens. Now, this, this is where this would be absolutely beautiful with, uh, as a side dish for a grilled chop from the barbecue. It's really rich and, and luscious. It definitely needs some fresh herb. This happens to be basil because that way I don't have to go back out to the garden. 
always that last flourish of extra virgin olive oil and some cracked pepper, good Australian pepper grown in Queensland for me. It's a very savoury risotto, but it definitely suits my style. Oh, I know what else you could put in. Some really good bacon. Ah, that would be terrific too.